1971 Chevrolet C10 regular cab short box here at Unique Specialty and Classics. Frame on restoration done with this truck. Engine and trans just gone through, rebuilt, done what was needed. Attention to detail in this truck really shows. It looks as good in person as it does the pictures and the videos. So let's start a little walk around. I'll go through some of the highlights. Underneath the hood, 383 stroker. That's paired up with an automatic with overdrive transmission, 700 R4 to be exact. Nicely equipped, power steering, power brakes. Paint on the truck, yes, it does appear to look like it's wet. And you can see the reflection of the ceiling in the hood. We'll get into that more here in just a bit. Let's take a look at the front grille. Chrome in the bumper, headlight surrounds. Looking good up front. Now, if you want to take your time looking through the still pictures, let me quick tell you where to do that at. You're going to be able to see the underside, interior, engine bay, bed of the truck, every angle, top to bottom, inside and out. UniqueClassicCars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. That's going to take you right there. If you're seeing it on YouTube, that's again how you're going to do it. You can always call us, 507-386-1726. I'd like to talk to a salesperson about this. Riding on Boss wheels, and as you can see behind there, disc brakes. We've got new rotors up front, new calipers, new brake lines, new pads, just to name a few. There's a whole folder of receipts that will go with this truck. There's also a two-page list of things that were gone through on this recently when this truck was restored. Let's take a look down this passenger side at how straight these panels are, how good this black paint looks. Look at the reflection in the paint of the wall and the floor behind me. And if you know what poor bodywork and paint looks like with black as the color, it stands out. This one, not so much. Look at how straight that is. Again, the reflection in the paint of the floor and the wall behind me. Yes, this one looks as good in person as it does in the pictures and the videos. Interior, yes, also is nice. We have a houndstooth pattern cloth. Vinyl combination bucket seats. Look at the padded dash. Red in color, so nice two-tone carrying through the interior. We'll get around to the driver's side, start it up, let you hear it run. Bed liner, also nice shape. You see the fuel fill move to the rear. And it's new fuel cell, new fuel lines, all that has been gone through. Remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Take a look at the chrome bumper on the rear of the truck. Also nice shape, as well as that paint, as you can see. All right, let me get into some of the stuff that is on this list. And this is not the whole list. This is just hitting on some of the highlights. Um, underneath the hood, three core radiator, uh, aluminum. Also has headers. And then the headers are hooked up to a custom exhaust with H pipe. You're gonna be able to see that in the underside picks. Um, there's a new steering column, as well as new uh, high pressure and low pressure steering hoses, power steering hoses, I should say. Um, we mentioned the front pads, calipers, uh, hoses and belts all gone through. The 700 R4 TV cable was adjusted. It's set up perfectly. Don't touch it for the overdrive and kick down. Um, tranny cooler lines, all new. Shift linkage, drive shaft was balanced. Uh, brake lines, we mentioned that. We, uh, rear wheel cylinders master cylinder and proportioning valve underneath the hood. We're gonna pop the hood in just a bit, let you hear it run, start it up. We'll even take this truck for a drive at the very end of the video, show you how it goes down the road. Let's take a look down this driver's side like we did the passenger side. If you're into classic trucks, you like early 70s, or maybe just like restored trucks, street rotted trucks, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel you never know what you may see come through here at Unique Classic Cars. Videos are uploaded daily, and when the videos are uploaded, these vehicles are available to purchase online or right off our showroom floor if you make it see us in person. And again, you can see driver's side panels and paint look just as nice as that passenger side. Again, look at the reflection in that paint. It's just like it's glass. All right, let's take a look at this interior. I want to show you some of the detail here. Look at the highlighted 
red on the top of that door panel. Door panel's great shape. Glossy paint. The door jams. It's glossy as the rest of the truck. New carpeting, and again that vinyl cloth combination seat with the hound's tooth. Tilt column. Column out of a little later model Chevy. Otherwise, kind of keeping that stock look with the dash, padded dash. Aftermarket stereo, I did have working. Aftermarket gauges down below as far as the cluster. Great looking interior. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Every time that uh, 383 stroke has popped off like that, I turn the key, and that's what it does. Roll attention to detail. Even your drive indicator is lit with a nice red light. Take a peek at the gauges, oil pressure, volts, water temp. That was a cold start. You can see stereo's powered up. It does work. Visors done in red vinyl. Again, just attention to detail. How nicely that door closes. Slip around to the back so you can hear it run. Nothing crazy over the top of the exhaust. Just a good sounding exhaust. And again, true dual exhaust, H pipe, headers. Speaking of which, Let's check out this power plant, see how it looks underneath the hood. And here's the hood pop. So I do want to mention, to pop the hood with this billet drill, there's a T-handle about right in the dead center underneath that plate. What you want to do is push up on it, that will release the hood latch. There's the aluminum radiator we mentioned earlier, so 3 core, core aluminum radiator. Two electric fans on a thermostat behind that for pulling. You can see new booster, new master cylinder for portioning valve. Looks like hooker headers. Edelbrock four barrel. Edelbrock performer intake manifold, power steering, power brakes. See how nice and tidy this engine bay is. Wow. HEI ignition. And like I said, I'm only hitting on a few of the highlights of what was done when this truck was restored. I would get in this truck, turn the key, and not be afraid to go. Be a good one for your local roll-ins, cruise-ins, local shows. This one will take home some trophies. I don't doubt that at all. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. If you want to know about the whole folder full of receipts, the list of what's been done in this truck. 507-386-1726 uniqueclassiccars.com check out all those still pictures we do consider trades financing is available of course we can assist with transportation and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract consult with your sales associate when you call in or email hey did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty it's just like the one you get at your new car dealership except it covers your classic car instead it covers all the major components like engine transmission drivetrain and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we're driving a 1971 Chevrolet C10 pickup truck. Very nicely finished. Great looking paint. Smooth grill. That whole front end is a nice look to it. Interior done nicely. The seats with houndstooth red and black stitching. Red and black accents. Looking freshly done in my opinion. Very nice acceleration, plenty of power in this truck. Our fuel gauge is reading almost full. Speedometer working, the battery right in the middle of the gauge. Temperature a quarter of the way up. Those are the factory gauges. Now they may not be accurate because under the dash we have stuff that is accurate. We have a cold gauge rating 14 over in the middle here and the water temperature about 150, water pressure 55. That is all looking good. Wipers function on this truck. There is a Boss C10 
CD player radio in the dash. It does power up. I have not tested the CD capability. Really great looking truck. Nice firm brake pedal. Brakes nice and straight. Automatic on the columns, so it's easy to drive for anybody. A little bit of squeak in there, maybe from tires on the corners. Handles nice and level. There, when she shifts, it's nice and firm, too. Actually, got a little tire chirp when I punched it down right there. Plenty of fun to drive this truck. Great looking inside and out. Find all the pictures and all the details at uniqueclassiccars.com.